Hello everybody, my name is Ray from Autoglass.com and the Internet Glass Network. We got a special deal here today. I finally found a Volvo XC Series. What year? 2007. 2007 Volvo XC Series in which um, the mirror fell out of the frame. Now a lot of people think their mirror turned black or they exploded or stuff like that. Um, I have my technician here named Robert, and Robert's from Cornwall, New York, and here we're here in the beautiful Hudson Valley, and uh, Robert's going to install this XC mirror, just to prove to everybody how easy this job is, okay? So the first thing I'm going to have Robert do, and let me show you what we need to do this job. It's a very simple job, okay? What we need as described on the on the uh, on the website nail polish remover it's amazing now why would we use nail polish remover because it's got 10% acetone in it and 10% acetone is a is a uh, is a solvent that will take off um, the rubber uh, contaminant that is on this mirror many times people have used Gorilla glue, which you're not supposed to, crazy glue, which you're not supposed to, uh, epoxy. It's basically what you use is silicone, but even the silicone will not adhere to this frame because of the contaminant of the rubber spray that they used at the factory, which was the reason the mirror fell out. Now, you will also notice that the writing is at the bottom, uh, that it says objects may appear. The reason for that is because we have the sun that has been beating down on this car for, for nine years. So it does beat and bleed into the Mylar pad. Now behind this Mylar pad, there is a heating element. We're in New York. We kind of want them to work, especially when it's five degrees out and, uh, and she wants her mirrors to heat up so she can drive and be safe. So this is what we need to do this job. We need nail polish remover. We need a little bit of spray cleaner, especially this silicone, which is a special silicone. This is a non-latex based silicone. It's known as construction silicone, but it is an automotive product. It's a high acidic and it will bond perfectly and this is what they use in the factory. And this is what we're going to use here today. Rob, I want you to take the, uh, I want you to take your mom's nail polish remover. Now we got the end of the bottle, so you can use it all, right? And I want you to pour it on the rag because I got it a little wet. Just pour it down on here. Take that. Pour it on the rag. That's fine. That's enough. You're good. Now, what I want you to do is take that and I want you to clean that. Uh, I want you to clean the housing now. We function. Okay. Good job, Robert. We got all that contaminant off and we let it dry a little bit. Acetone does dry like alcohol. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, and this is the simple thing, we're going to have Robert glue the frame. In which we're going to use this, uh, this silicone, which I do sell online, um, along with the mirror and everything else. Now, Rob, what I want you to do is I want you to create a, uh, a, a pattern that will be going across like this one half an inch away from the frame lip. Now you don't have to be neat, okay? You can make a total mess of this. And the way I describe it online is uh, put it on there like the chicken pox, okay? So here you go, Rob. So I want you to start here and work across and make those little dots that I showed you how to do before. There you go. Just keep going across. You're not Leonardo da Vinci and making, uh, you know, wonderful uh, photographs and uh, paintings. Well, he didn't make photographs back in, in those days. Okay, don't get too close to that frame lip. The reason we don't want to get too close to the frame lip is that when we install the mirror, if the silicone oozes out, just a chance, and I'm going to make this warning to all of you, if the silicone does happen to uh, hit the frame lip, do not try to remove it. Let it dry, and then when it dries, then get a razor blade and scrape it off. If silicone gets on the glass, it's a very difficult thing to get off. 
the silicone is a very high acidic uh, adhesive. Uh, the silicone right now, we're talking about beautiful fall weather here in New York. It's about 50 degrees and the uh, silicone will cure in about four hours in which you'll be able to drive. The manufacturer specs is you can use the silicone at minus 45 and up to 145. Now I don't know what the 45s are all about but I'm gonna go better on the lotto. <laughs> now I had said that before in another video. Robin you are doing a wonderful job man and you know he's my master tech. Now as you notice, they had the objects that may appear, and we also had that on our mirrors. The difference is, this is first surface chromium, and let me show you what first surface chromium is. Uh, who could ever think that they could look through a mirror? Well, I'm going to put it up the lens, and I think you can see the car. I'm not sure, it might be a little too dark, but you can see through the glass, and the reason is it's 40% translucent, which means it absorbs 40% of the light at night, when people are tailgating you and they have their you know high beams or their 30,000 volt you know the new cars that have those third really bright 30,000 volt lights um, this will make it so that you're not blinded whereas on these cars you have been so Rob do yourself a favor when you put it in just hold the edges and just lay it down into the bottom frame and then flip it in okay and you'll notice as you do that, the, um, okay, raise it up. There you go, get it into the lip. Perfect. Now we got that up in the lip, right? And just smush it around a little bit. Now, this is my secret. Now we take the tape, which I already did because like I said, you don't take the how you don't take a frame you don't take the frame off the car a lot of people take these frames off the car and they do the work you want to keep the frame on there because it's a second hand why take it off so a lot of people you know go to a repair facility get charged hundreds of dollars which is probably about they, I've heard about hundred fifty dollars to install their glass when it took seven minutes and I had Rob but Rob yeah thanks a lot kid and uh, if I ever need your help you know we'll come again um, so please uh, subscribe to my channel as I do come up with new videos every once in a while on all the different cars and all the different applications. Um, at the bottom of the web page, I'm going to send you to the Volvo page in which you can order this mirror online in our shopping cart. Um, like I say, the difference in the mirrors is first surface chromium. As you saw, you were able to see through the glass. That means when light hit it, it did absorb it. And the reason the, uh, the frames are always black is because when the light hits it, it absorbs into a black frame. That is the theory. So, but, and then the heating element now that Rob did a great job in, when it heats during the winter, it's going to heat evenly. If we had just put two globs of glue here and there and put the mirror in, it would only heat the mirror where we put the globs of glue. But what Rob did was create a silicone pad. So when we put the glass in, all those little dots connected. So now when we wake up in the morning and we turn on the car and it's really cold out and she wants to heat the car up, um, you know, they're, they're gonna, it's going to heat up evenly like it was uh, at the factory, okay? But thank you very much. Hey, Rob. Thanks, bro. And I'll see you again. And thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Go to the bottom of the link and we'll send you to the Volvo page in which you can order this mirror. All right, and have a great day, great fall, and a great year. And thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you again.